I called. Bombard them from a distance. I knew they were right about there. I mean, greater ghouls are rather slow. So they should be able to deal with that relatively easily. Yeah, here we go. Alright, right there. Right there. Ready and able. And there. Unless they're hasted. Wow. That's disturbing. That's really disturbing, the idea of a hasted ghoul. Gold plate and sucking steel. Okay. Wow, they are susceptible to stun. That's strange. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Or not. Apparently this wasn't nearly as bad as it could have been. Alright, does anyone have spare ring slots? Anybody? No. Well, Carrot does, and I think that the angel skin ring is not as valuable as the orange ring or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. Flame dance, I don't know. And what type of necklace is that? Silver, which means it's not that valuable. So yes, greater ghouls faster than you normally would have thought they'd be. A little frightening. Well, those two have been blown up. I suppose this is a good time to rest. But not a good place. What's coming at us? <laughs> greater ghouls, once again. Here does not have any spells that would be useful. Does he have any special abilities? No. I guess he gets the sling. What about him when? You have any special stuff? Ring of energy. Um, that could be useful, but she needs to use up arrows, so she'll do that. Uh, you yeah, that. Oh, snap. Oh, that's all kind of bad. No, no, not Carrot, please. Oh, that's gonna kill him quickly if, unless Carrot does something about it, like use his lightning wand. Oh. She doesn't have anything that would be safe for that kind of use. I guess she's just gonna have to sling it. While well, Imwin uses traps? No? Necklace of Missiles causes explosions. Ring of Energy is that Agonizar's Scorcher spell. Oh no, don't do it sideways like that. Not like that, Carrot. Please. Oh dear. Save Minsk! Save him! God, everybody! Got him! This way. God, that's tense. Just two of those things are dangerous. Omnipresent authority was the group. Less kicking for goodness. 
Oh, it just keeps getting worse and worse. The Summon Nif's group healing spell would actually be more useful than Defensive Harmony, considering these monsters seem to hit no matter how high your armor class actually is. Healing cure serious wounds, it's just healing for one person rather than this spell, which is healings for several people. So I think we're going to go with that instead. Okay. Reposition to another part of the room, and I guess we'll just try resting again. Not rest at this time. But you can rest now. Okay. I suppose we should use one of these, uh, yeah. One of these nymphs right about now. And they appear to cast healing. It's actually very useful. Let's say it barks Kinanjihira. Yeah, we want to keep him all the way up. Having a healer that can move quickly is very helpful. You've attacked nature's servant away. Alright, well we've got everyone back up in the fighting condition at the very least. I'm gonna save. It's a bit hot little dialogue between them. Another dead end, another doorway. This one with a skeleton in the room. Nature servant, yes, O omnipresent authority figure. Oh boy, the skull trap never went off. Guess whose job it is to disarm that? Ta da! Oh, that doesn't seem to be working. Oh, yes, it does. Sorry, nymph. I've done had enough of this. Took one for the team. All right, another doorway leading to the ominous southwest. For the group. Everyone did find traps in this room, so she is going to search for traps some more. The mask and tones down four funnels lie four foes. Kill all four, and the game begins. Fire, ice, slime, and wind. All must perish to continue. She who fires flame must be killed before her bow is drawn. Something most unnatural here, and I want no part of it. Queening can change a match. Much for the worse if you're the other player. Ooze only parts before blows and spells but evaporates in the cleansing fire. Okay, well, all right, kill the ooze with fire. Uh, queening. Hmm. Fire, one who fights with fire must be killed before her bow is drawn. Down four fuddles, yellow four and the game begins. Well, that's strange. You thought there'd be a, another one because there's only three. I mean, there's four heads you can talk to, but. Like this one. That one's not activating at all. Oh, whatever. 
playing with mess all day long. Yeah, each one seems a slightly different hue. Like, yeah, one's green, one's white, one's blue, one's red-ish. I'm noticing a theme here. And these are probably the other rooms that we already bypassed. Alright, visibility for Emuin. And let's see what she there can find so out. Many places I would rather be. More skeleton archers, huh? Lots of fun little walkways. Whoa! Yes, filled with traps. Traps that go off. Ooh, it's stinking cloud, which of course doesn't affect skeletons. Aha! Yes, that old trick. Use the gases that only affect living things and then fill it with undead. Classic DM sadism. And of course, the skeletons are still making saves for stealth, even though it doesn't apply to them, but whatever. It doesn't have to make sense. You're a clear fellow. And we just have to wait for the trap to go away. Thankfully, invisibility lasts considerably longer. Oh, I'm sure it'll fade soon. There we go. Well, that trap's already set off. Looks like we're going on the platforms here, and there's no other way to get around. Nope. There was one over here somewhere, I remember. Yes, there it is. And there's that one. Trapezoid. That goes off. In 